Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and here I'm going to show you how you can play Escape from Tarkov on your phone, which is ideal if you're like me and you like to massively hoard stuff, and then you end up stuck with a stash full of things that you need to sell on the flea market, but you don't want to sit at your PC and do it while playing or in between missions or whatever else, making your friends wait. So this is a way that you could potentially do it while sitting on the sofa. However, it is a little bit fiddly, but more on that a little bit later on. So this is done using Steam Link, and this is over your home Wi-Fi network. And I'm going to show you the various steps for doing this, and it is relatively simple. The first thing to do is head over Steam on your desktop, so the same piece that you have Escape from Tarkov installed on. Then you want to add a non-Steam game to your library. Now you might think you'd be adding the game itself to the library, but no, we're going to add Notepad instead, which seems strange, but I'll show you why in a minute. So basically you need to open up to browse and look for a non-Steam app, search for Notepad on your PC, find it, and then click to open. So we're going to add Notepad in. Essentially what this will let you do is to launch Notepad over Steam Link, remotely stream a Notepad from your PC to your phone and I'll show you why in a minute. But then you'll see it in the library of games. Now you will notice on the left-hand side that I have also tried to install a Battle State Game Launcher and Escape from Tarkov as separate apps in Steam. I didn't get that to work properly. It wouldn't work like that, but there is a workaround where you can use Notepad and then minimize Notepad and Big Picture in order to then have access to any app that's running on your desktop. And in this case, we're gonna use it for Escape from Tarkov. So that's one of the options. So what you're doing now is basically launching Notepad and that will put it into this big picture mode. And we're doing this on the desktop PC that you're playing on, or your laptop that you've got Tarkov installed on. So basically you want to find the app and launch it in this streaming mode. And I'll show you a different way to do it directly from your phone in a minute. But basically you click into that and then you launch the app and that puts Notepad up front and center. You then minimize that and then you go back, click back in big picture and then back again until you get to the home, and then click on the power button, and then click on minimize big picture, and that drops it down, and then you'll see your desktop. From there, you can then obviously then click to launch the launcher, and then click play to play the game, and that will load the game up. So that's the steps on the gaming PC that you have Tarkov installed on. Now, on your phone, you want to download Steam Link if you haven't already, and I'd recommend downloading Steam Link and going through the setup process just so that you've got this established. You need your home Wi-Fi network. You need your phone connected to the same network as your PC. You also need a fast internet connection to make the most of this. You then need to connect them up using the pin. So the steps in Steam Link that will let you know how to do it. Basically, you've got a pin that you have to enter on your desktop machine. So you need to be able to access both phone and the machine at the same time with relative ease. But you can see, once again, the process. So if you don't want to do this on your PC, you want to do it straight from your phone, you can basically search for Notepad within your library. So open up the Steam library, search for Notepad. It's a little bit fiddly, but you can use the touchscreen keyboard in order to search for it and find it. And again, it's the same process. So we're looking to launch Notepad on your phone. And then you have, you can see Notepads here on my phone. And then basically I've gone back to the desktop PC because it's easier, minimize Notepad, then gone through the same process of clicking on the power button, clicking to minimize big picture, and then minimizing Notepad and then I can see my desktop. So from here, I can then use the virtual cursor, dragging my finger across the screen to launch the Battlestate Games launcher, and then to launch Tarkov. It seems contrived and complicated, but once you've set this up, as long as your PC is running, you can then stream Tarkov to your phone, which means you can go and sit on the sofa or in the bath or wherever you want to and sort out your stash, sell everything on the flea market, clean things up a bit, and free up a bit of space. Now, I wouldn't say that you'd be able to actually play the game like this, because it's not really designed for touch controls, and also I have tried it with a controller paired with a phone, but that doesn't seem to work very well either, mostly because the game's probably not really designed for a controller, and also you're not really playing a Steam game, so it's a bit difficult to use, but if you want to just sort of mess around in your inventory or on the flea market, you can do it. So you can see me going through the process here, clicking on the various menus, clicking to try and add an offer. You can see it's not very user-friendly. It doesn't work terribly well. <laughs> this is a bit of a bodge job and a workaround. However, it is possible to do once you get the hang of it, you can actually do it. And I did do it after a little while. There is an easier way though, and that is to get a Bluetooth mouse. So this is the Aerox 3 wireless. Pair that with your phone as well. And once that's connected up, it'll be a lot easier. So this is a Steel Series mouse and you basically put it into Bluetooth mode and then pair it with that. And then when it's paired with the phone, that will then give you more granular controls and obviously mouse setup will be much easier to do. You could theoretically also use a keyboard 
and then have a setup that way, which would be a little bit simpler. But basically here I've gone through this process and repeating the same steps to access the game by obviously launching it and then minimizing big picture, getting that out of the way. And then you can use the mouse to navigate around and that's a lot easier to then get between the various things. You can use the mouse wheel to scroll up and down, click on the various items, right click to inspect and do other things and filter by item or whatever else to access and then be able to sell things. So it's a lot more straightforward. Although, as you'll see from this clip, when you go to add an offer, you still have to bring up the virtual keyboard and then it's a bit of a mess to type on there. It's certainly a lot easier at your desktop, but if you want to do this when you're away from your PC, this is a nice way of doing it and a little more flexible. If you have a bigger screen, let's say a tablet, for example, it'd probably be even easier because you'll have more room to play around with it and it'll be easier to see what you're doing. It's obviously when it gets the text is a little bit smaller, it's a bit more difficult and you can see the virtual keyboard also fills the screen up quite a bit so that makes it even harder. However, it is possible to negotiate around your inventory and change things up. The other option, if you've got it, is a Steam Deck. So you can see me running a Steam Deck here. It's exactly the same process. You basically launch a notepad from the Steam Deck so it launches on your PC, streams to the Steam Deck, and then you can access the game. Obviously, you can't install Tarkov on the Steam Deck directly and run it from Steam because it just wouldn't work. This means that a lot of the controls don't work. You can see that the uh, joysticks don't work very well, for example. You can't navigate with the other buttons. It's hard to click. It's a bit of a mess. But the two trackpads below the joysticks do actually allow you to do it. So you can use those to navigate around and you can use those to click like a mouse, both left and right. So you can do it and it is possible to click on items and filter and then sell them and do other things. Uh, hopefully this has been an interesting and useful thing so you can deal with all your hoarding problems. I will be using it to do with mine. The other option is also a laptop. So if you have a laptop that you want to use, you can use that somewhere else without having to install the game on it. You don't have to have a game installed in two different places and you can just stream it from your main PC. So there you go, plenty of options. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the link in the playlist to other tips and tricks for Tarkov. Thanks for watching.